Am I the a-hole for reporting my neighbor's illegal dog fighting ring and getting him arrested? I, 28 male, live in a suburban neighborhood with my girlfriend, 27 female, and our two dogs. We've been here for about three years, and everything was great until our new neighbor, Tom, 30 male, moved in a few months ago. Tom seemed like a decent guy at first, friendly, always waving hello, and even invited us to a few barbecues. But then things took a dark turn. We started hearing strange noises coming from Tom's house late at night, barking, growling, and sounds of dogs fighting. At first we thought he was just a terrible dog owner who didn't know how to control his pets, but then... We noticed different cars pulling up to his house at odd hours, and people would leave with money in their hands and injured dogs on leashes. One night, I saw Tom leading a pit bull with fresh wounds back into his house. That was my breaking point. I did some research and found out about local dog fighting rings. I decided to call the police and report my suspicions. They took my report but didn't seem very interested in following up, so I contacted an animal rights organization and gave them all the information I had gathered. A week later, a major raid happened. Animal control police, and even news reporters showed up. They found a full-blown dog fighting ring in Tom's basement, injured dogs, bedding slips, and equipment for training the dogs to fight. Tom was arrested on the spot, and the dogs were taken to various animal shelters for treatment. Now, here's where the story gets complicated. The neighborhood is completely divided. Some people are thanking me, saying I did the right thing and probably saved those dogs' lives. Others, however, are furious. They say that Tom was just a guy down on his luck trying to make some extra cash. Some even said the dogs were just animals and that I should have involved the authorities. Tom's wife and kids had no idea about the dog fighting ring. They were devastated and had to move out because they couldn't afford to stay without his income. The kids are in therapy now dealing with the trauma of finding out their father was involved in such horrible activities. I feel terrible for his family. They didn't do anything wrong, but they're suffering because of his actions. I've been called a snitch, received hostile glares from certain neighbors, and even found my car keyed one morning. One neighbor told me I should have confronted Tom directly or minded my own business. I believe I did the right thing. Those dogs were being horribly mistreated, and Tom's activities were not only illegal but also incredibly cruel. But I feel guilty for the pain his family is going through. They've lost their home, their father, and their sense of security. Some neighbors say that I should have just moved if I didn't like what was happening. But why should I uproot my entire life because of one person's criminal behavior? I had to think about my own dog's safety and the well-being of the neighborhood. Am I the a-hole?